Welcome to the TriFlex HX1 video series. In this video series, we will be covering unboxing, exterior features, dust container and filters, storage and charging, assembly, operation, and cleaning of the TriFlex HX1 cordless bagless vacuum. In this video segment, we will discuss the exterior features of the TriFlex HX1 cordless vacuum. This is the power unit. It is the heart of the vacuum, the central piece that all other pieces attach to. On the power unit, we have the data tag. The data tag provides important information, including the model number and the serial number located above the barcode. The power unit has two attachment points, here and here. The attachment point here actually has an electrical contact. This will be used to power your electrical accessories. Just below that, you'll see that there are electrical contacts here for your battery. At the top of the power unit, you have the battery charging state indicator. When all three LEDs are illuminated, your battery is fully charged. When the middle and bottom lights are illuminated, the charge is approximately 69 to 35%. When the bottom light is illuminated, the charge is approximately 34 to 11%. When the bottom light flashes slowly, your charge is at approximately 10%. On the end of the power unit, we have the dust container, which houses a filter assembly. In order to remove the dust container, we're going to grasp the cap and turn. The dust container will now come free of the power unit. On the dust container, you'll find diagrams indicating how to remove the dust container and also how to empty it. In order to empty the dust container, I just continue to rotate the cap, which will allow the flap to open. This should be done over a trash receptacle. In order to close the flap, I simply rotate the cap back to its starting position and close the flap until it locks into place. To reinstall the dust container, I simply align it with the power unit and press into place. The battery is the source of power for the power unit. The battery contacts are protected by this tape, which I will remove, and the contacts are revealed. The tape covering the battery indicates that it must be charged for four hours. Following charging, the battery can be installed. You'll see the battery contacts here and here. In order to install the battery, I simply slide it into place. In order to remove the battery, press the release catches on both sides and the battery can be pulled away. On full charge, the battery power can last anywhere from 14 to 60 minutes. The length of service depends upon the power selection, the use of accessories, and type of flooring. Your vacuum also comes with a suction tube and a comfort handle. These can be used to provide various configurations. This will be demonstrated during assembly. The comfort handle also has a power selector switch. Accessories may vary by model. Please refer to your operating instructions for details regarding your specific vacuum. Be sure to use only genuine meal accessories with your TriFlex vacuum. Substitute parts will affect operation and performance. Everything covered in this video is also available in your operating instructions.